Guys, we're going to show you today how to make homemade laundry soap. Um, step one, you put a thing of water on the stove, and you have some ivory soap right there for grating. And then, what is these are the other two ingredients you use? Yes. And you mix them half and half. Um, I do usually one cup of each because I can't remember the recipe, but I know it's like one cup is at least that much, so I just put one cup of it. And you just do one bar of ivory soap? One bar of ivory soap, one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda, and um, Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And then how much water does it matter? Um, it doesn't really matter. I try not to put too much water. I actually probably put more than I normally do. Um, uh, at first because you just need enough to dissolve your bar of ivory soap and then um, once this is dissolved completely and you don't have any more chunks of soap then you add the washing soda and the borax um, stir it around you turn the heat off and then you just fill the rest up with cold water so it cools down quicker so the least amount of water you use for the um, the bar of soap, the better, because then you can add more cold water and it cools faster. I just poured in the ivory soap um, that we had grated into the water, and so I might stir it a little bit and just basically wait for it to um, dissolve completely. It's like on medium heat, so you know you could probably turn it up a little bit if you're gonna stand here and stir it. But um, lots of times I get distracted, so I tend to put it on a lower heat. So, um, that's what we're doing, and we're going to wait for that to dissolve, then we're going to add this one cup of borax and one cup of a washing soda into it, turn the heat off, add some cold water, and then pour that into containers, and you can do that up to 10 gallons, you can dilute it so you have like 10 gallons of laundry soap, or um, some people even do it more, but I, I don't like it super um, diluted because our clothes are really dirty and I want some concentration. So there you go. That's how we make soap here in the Todd house. Okay, you can see if you look in here, you can see all the soap is dissolved so you don't have any chunks of soap. So basically you just pour the borax baking soda in. I turned the heat off. We don't need to cook it anymore because this dissolves super quick in the warm water. Baking soda or... Washing soda. Oh, washing soda. Yeah, yep. washing soda and um, borax. Sorry. Um, so you just stir it a little bit until basically all that powder dissolves. And it will look like this. Like this real um, creamy looking whatever. And that's that. And your washing soap is done cooking. And then, um, <clears throat> then, okay, so all the um, powder has dissolved and it's like this um, nice, smooth, liquidy. So I'm adding cold water just to like cool it down quicker because no. I don't really want to pour hot, hot, hot water into plastic bottles and I don't know why. I guess it's probably bad. So then I just kind of like take it and I try to just eyeball it and pour like an equal portion on the bottom per for the size of the bottle because i am not really um very scientific about it in particular i don't have time for all that i just kind of do it and it always works so and then how long do you let it do you have to let it, let it sit for a while um yes you fill it up the rest of the bottles the rest of the way with water once okay so i'm just kind of trying to like you know, split it up evenly between the bottles. And then once I have the, it all split up, it is a little hot, so you might want to be careful not to burn yourself when you're pouring it in. Um, I'm kind of making a mess here, but I need soap. Um, you can be much neater about this if you really want to be. <laughs> I guess I'm not too particular about it. You let it sit for a while or? Okay, yeah, once once these are, um, like, once I separate all the soap into them, then I'll fill them the rest of the way 
with water. I'll leave a little bit at the top because once it get once you let it sit and it gets cold, it'll kind of get hardened and solidify. So you gotta shake the bottles up real good to get the um, get it more liquid again. So you need a little bit of space for that so you can actually shake it up. It's a little difficult if you fill it all the way to the top and you try to shake it and nothing moves. It will eventually move if you keep doing it, but it's still easier if you leave like, you know, like a little portion at the top like that of like air. Um, so you could get your husband to shake it up for you if you want. Some people will leave it in the big bucket overnight so that they can stir it with like a drill or something like that. Um, once it gets solid and remix it back up, you can do that if you want. I just, I don't know. I guess I don't follow the rules very well, so. Can you use it just the way it is right now? You could, yeah. It's just very, very concentrated, so um, it might be kind of a waste. I mean, you could split this up into way more, like, if I had more containers, I might make a couple more, but this is all I got right now, so. I'm just doing with what I got, and it works, and it's still way, 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 way cheaper than buying laundry soap. So, there you go. I'm going to fill these up with water some, and put the lids on, let them cool. I mean, if I need to do laundry right now, I'll, I'll use it, but it'll harden up in like a day, and then you just shake it up. <laughs> so, there you go, guys. Um, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please... Um, Leave them and have a good day. Thanks.